up guys, Jai here with Vapex Reviews. Uh, guys, I am coming at you today with another e-liquid review. And uh, this is gonna be from a familiar vendor uh, and a favorite vendor of mine, gotta be one of my favorites. Uh, and that is gonna be for Fusion Vapor. Fusion Vapor, www.fusionvapor.com. I'll put a link at the end of the video. Uh, that accurately spells that for you guys uh, so you don't get confused. Uh, guys, I've done a few reviews for uh, Fusion Vapor. Uh, Shane over at Fusion Vapor, who is the, the owner and creator of all these wonderful juices, um, he sent me a couple of juices. Uh, if you've seen my, my YouTube page, uh, which is Outcast3321, um, you may have seen some of those videos um, on other juices of Fusion Vapor, such as the Milli Vanilli, um, I did the Gumby Blood and uh, a few other ones too. Uh, this one is uh, no exception. Uh, it's just a new one that they've got on the site. Uh, I talked to Shane. I, I told him I was interested in doing a review on this uh, particular juice. And uh, he went ahead and sent it to me out of the kindness of his heart. Uh, thanks a lot, Shane, by the way. Uh, and so let's, let's go ahead and get right into it. This one is a really unique and interesting one, guys. Guys, what I have for you today is the, I believe, the latest juice, uh, even though there's a few more in the works over there, there always is, um, but this one is going to be Black Cavendish. Black Cavendish is the name of the juice. Um, it's a dark juice, as you can see, and uh, just for review purposes, I will let you know that this is at a six milligram nicotine level, which is my, uh, the level that I'm at now. Um, and uh, let's get right into the characteristics of this juice. Guys, this is a wild one. Uh, it's a dark juice, as you can see. And uh, let me go ahead and give you a, uh, the smell check on this and uh, try to explain this, this creation for you here. So, the Black Cavendish. Mm, okay, on the smell, guys, um, th this is a really, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, this is a really complex juice here. This isn't uh, one that you smell and immediately go, oh, I know exactly what that is. And no, you don't, I don't, and uh, it's, it, this is a, a very unique juice. But what I am getting on the smell, guys, is it's kind of, I'm getting kind of a, a chocolate, a honey chocolate. It's got a, a honey, I can definitely smell honey and chocolate in there, but there is this other flavor, which is, which is, very much in the, the taste of this as well that I can't really put a finger on. Um, I almost want to say it's it's somewhat flowery, uh, like potpourri-ish in, in a way, but in a good way. Um, and, it, and it lends to the characteristics of this juice. Um, it, man, it's, it's really wild. I've never smelled anything like this juice. I've never tasted anything like this juice. And it is just it is just such an interesting uh, one to add to the collection of his of, of all of his different flavors he's got over there. So uh, you know, without prattling on, guys, I'll go ahead and give you a vape, show you how it vapes, and try to explain uh, what this stuff tastes like. Uh, I do have it in uh, this Eternity uh, rebuildable atomizer on my iTaste MVP, and that is going to be at 4.2 volts. So uh, I'll go ahead and restoke it. Give it a couple drips here, and this is the Black Cavendish from Fusion Vapor. It's a new one over there. Good vapor production, as you can see, that it's everything solid across the board in vapor production there. Um, I believe the mix is like a 60-40 or something to that effect. Um, but good vapor production, good throat hit at the six level milligram, you know, nick level, which is where I'm at. Um, it's adequate for me. Um, guys, the taste of the Black Cavendish. Uh, I knew this was going to be a wild one, and when I saw the, you know, he's got on the website, he's got these really cool readouts of, of what his juices taste like and they're they're kind of comical to a, to a certain degree but uh, they also explain kind of you know what's going on inside the juice because most of the names aren't you know outright you know strawberry or they have names like Milli Vanilli so with that you need kind of a, 
a description of what it tastes like. My best, the best way to uh, describe this to you guys is it is, it's a chocolatey, honey-like vape, but it has this earthy kind of flower tone to it. And I honestly, for the life of me, I cannot put a finger on it and say exactly what that flavor is. But on the website, um, it's neat. In the description, it says it's kind of like a gnome's tobacco. It's what, it's what a gnome would smoke or a hobbit would smoke. Um, and strangely enough, I get that um, when I'm vaping it. I, I, it it kind of takes me to this, to this Lord of the Rings. Uh, I, I don't even know if I can explain that because it's, it's a feeling and a taste. Um, but anyway, um, it's just got this certain flowery tone to it that goes along with that chocolate and honey and makes it just so unique. Um, it's even supposed to be tobacco-y. I, 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 I guess I could, I could say it's, it's a hint tobacco-y because of, of the earthiness to it, but it's got this woody, kind of woody, earthy, chocolatey, honey-like flavor. And man, is it unique. It, it, this, is, this, this is one that you want to try just, to, just for the novelty of it. Some of you might fall in love with it. Um, others may think it's it's a little strange. Uh, I I myself I think it's really good. I like it. Um, I don't know if it would be an all day vape for me, but man, is it unique and uh, just another great creation by Shane at Fusion Vapor. Um, I really don't know what else to say about it, guys. You got to get your hands on this uh, to give it a try. Um, it it is definitely one that you will you haven't tasted anything like this before, um, and it's really unique. So guys, go to FusionVapor.com, www.FusionVapor.com, check out their stuff. They've got awesome juices. Uh, I've said it time and time again, and uh, that's all I got for you. Guys, until next time and my next review, I am signing out for now. Happy vaping.